Hi, my name is Avril Sorter, and you're listening to Conducting Cisco Unified Wireless Site Survey. In this lesson, we want to talk about how to actually conduct the Layer 2 Site Survey. And so this lesson is very much focused on the hands-on aspects, so it's mostly demonstration. Now, the demonstrations are going to be using the Ear Magnet Survey Tool. And as we talked about before, there are a range of different tools out there. And this one is really very desirable because you can import the results from this tool into the Cisco wireless control system. So that work is not only valuable during the survey, but valuable subsequently as you're trying to maintain the information about what was deployed. So the Air Magnet Survey Tool comes in two versions, the Survey and the Survey Pro. So I want to talk about those first. Once we've done that, I've split the demonstrations into two parts. The first one is a demonstration about the tool itself, how to get around the tool, what the various attributes and fields mean on the tool. So that will make you feel comfortable with the tool before you actually go ahead and try to use it. The second demonstration then is actually using the tool. So I'm going to be out at train signal and I'm going to use this tool to work out where my first access point placement is. And then of course we can continue to use that tool. In this demonstration I'm just going to show the first access point placement, but this tool can allow you to work out where to place all of your access points right across the area that you're trying to deploy in. And of course it takes some time to use the tool, so typically you know, in a course of a day, you might work out how to place 8 to 12 access points. So take your time with the tool. It's very important to get it right rather than to rush it. And again, interference is changing all the time. So you want to just let the measurements, etc., stabilize. So always take your time on doing a site survey because you just want to make sure you get it right so you don't want to be tweaking it once the system's installed uh, if you can avoid it. Now one of the tools that you might want to use for doing a site survey is the Air Magnet Survey. This tool comes in two models. One is the Express model and one is the Pro model. The Express version is a basic surveying tool which will map out signals and noise and, and user performance, but the Survey Pro adds additional features such as 802.11n, multi-floor deployments, the ability to do an outside survey, also has tools in it like voice readiness and RF spectrum analysis. Now with this tool, you can go out and actually take measurements which are then captured on your site map and that improves the ability for you to create an accurate model of your RF environment. Now there are a number of benefits of course by going out and automating the capture of your site measurements. But one of the things I do want to point out is this bottom bullet where you can actually export the data that you capture in the Air Magnet survey into your Cisco wireless control system and then you can use that data going forward to actually manage your network. So once you've set up the model and collected the information, it's not just useful for the survey, but you can use it going forward for ongoing management of your wireless LAN. Now this is a picture of the Air Magnet Survey Pro graphical user interface, the GUI. And I'm actually going to take you through a live demonstration and explain each of these components. But I've put this in so that you have a reference to look back on should you need it. So let's get into a demonstration of the Air Magnet Survey Tool. 
In this demonstration, I'm going to do a bit of an introduction into the tool itself. We're going to start off creating a project, then I'm going to show you how to configure the tool before you do your site survey, and then I will explain that GUI that you saw in the previous slide. So on this demo, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to go into the Egg Magnet Survey tool and open a new project. Once I've done that, I'm then going to configure the parameters that I want to use for that project. So let's go into Start, click Survey Pro. So to open a project, I can either come here and click this button for a new project, or I can come in here and select New Project. Both will get me to the New Project Wizard panel. I'll type in a name. Make sure I'm comfortable with where it's going to be saved. Press Next. I do want to import an image floor plan. Click Open. It's asking me now for the measurements. I can enter them now or I can enter them later on. I can also change them if I need to. So we'll put in here a width of 80 feet and a length of 120 feet. Hit Next. Now it's asking me to define the type of environment and this is the train signal headquarters and so it's an office environment. It has some offices, some cubicles and so I'm going to select an open space office, cubicles etc. And I'm going to leave the signal propagation assessment and the AP default powers as is. Hit the next button. I can enter a descriptive text. Here I'm going to leave that blank and hit finish. So now you can see that it's loaded the floor plan for me. Now what I want to do is I want to configure the project. And to do that I'm going to come up here and hit file and then configure. This now brings up the panel that allows me several tabs in which to configure my project. And so we want to step through these different tab settings. Now there's a significant number, and so I'm just going to go through a few of them. But when you're using this tool, you should actually feel quite comfortable with how to do all of these different settings. So this one here is talking about do I want to ignore APs where signal strength is less than a specific threshold value. So say for instance um, I live out in the countryside and I've got a fairly open environment but I can still hear my neighbor's access point even though they're quite some distance away and I'm normally hearing that about minus 96 dBm. And if I wanted to take that access point out of my assessment, this is where I'd do it, where I'd set this to something like minus 93, and that would stop me then hearing my neighbor's access point. If we come further down here, you can see the auto logging period set to log data every second. So this is when I'm collecting data points, when I'm actually conducting my survey, how often will it capture that information? And here is set to the default value of one second. Now a lot of people I know will set this to beep when logging data and is good because it will give you some feedback that yes that logging is taking place. Personally, it drives me nuts, and so I actually turn that off, but by default, it's actually turned on. This is a nice feature here, or auto sampling through path. This is the one that will enable the tool to automatically mark the sampling points on your site map, and they're shown by little blue dots, and you'll see that in a later demo. Alternatively, you can sample the data just when you click on the map. And that can be useful if you're just looking for some specific data points that you want to capture. 
I find the network card simulation quite an interesting one. I'm actually using the Ubiquiti wireless adapter for my site survey. And let's say you wanted to emulate the site survey results with a different adapter. Air Magnet allows you to do this and it has quite an extensive list of different wireless adapters that are in the industry. Now this one here, I find an interesting one, prompt for refresh after AP location change. I personally like to check that because when I'm doing my site survey, if I move access points, I like to be 